Hello, Mashable. Welcome to my home. This is our living room. This is where we live. Pretty much chill a lot here. We're very uh, simplistic people, actually, me and my wife, both. And uh, thankfully, our children also seem to be growing into simple people. Uh, so we tend to not get very flashy. Flashy is something that we're not very fond of. Like you will see our uh, house is simpler, but there's a disruption with the painting. There's a disruption with that yellow wall that you came in through. A lot of board games we do because we have two children. Uh, there's a lot of jigsaw puzzles we do. Uh, there's not a lot of reading happening these days, but I love books. I love love reading. I love Eclectica. Uh, I've grown. I really like Taboo. I've grown to like uh, Monopoly, but it's uh, still a bit of a compromise because my wife likes it. So I'm like, okay, I love Scrabble because I love word games. One thing is this, this, we always, there's always a fight for this couch. It's an extremely comfortable couch. And I'm not one for comfort, to be honest with you, but it's just, they just sink into this and you don't want to move. I honestly, all of my friends, they come in and they're always vying for this spot, everyone. Right now, you know, the content watching has actually become too intense anyway. So we're looking for lighthearted stuff that's not uh, happening. It's not coming out. Thankfully, I'm working on a show that's lighthearted. It's a, it's a, the show is called Raj Jawan. Hai. It's a coming of age parenting kind of novel idea. Very, very new. Uh, it's going to be one of the funnier shows the country has seen. Hi. It's okay. <laughs> that's my legacy. This is actually one fourth of my uh, collection. I one fourth mini collection. I had to get rid of a lot of books to make space to my kids. That is a, uh, a tequila shot uh, that was uh, gifted to us by one of our friends who was getting married, and she was like, "The day I tie the knot, you take a shot." There's a few special books I really like. Uh, the Quran is one of them. I have a Quran. Uh, there's a, this awesome uh, book called Neither a Hawk Nor a Dove. I actually made a posting. It's a Pakistani uh, bureaucrat's account of the Pakistan foreign policy. Book called No Easy Day by uh, a Marine uh, uh, Navy SEAL. Uh, the guy who was in the uh, one of the persons who was in the Navy SEAL mission that killed Osama bin Laden. This is a very interesting read. I'm sure this will everyone. The, there was a plane that went missing from Malaysian Airlines MH370. And the files of the study uh, were uh, in this book. So that's three. I love this book a lot. It's called The Descent of a Man. Grayson Perry, who's a transverse, this guy. Men, there are a lot of them about. We all know one. Grayson Perry is one. But what makes a man? How does masculinity operate? Could it be in need of an urgent upgrade? Here, Grayson looks at how it could make the world a better place for everyone. So this is a book. It's called Islam. It's a dialogue between uh, Majid Nawaz and Sam Harris. It's written in dialogue, basically, is what I'm trying to say. Like what Nawaz spoke, then what uh, Harris thought of it, how he responded. responded. There's a book I have by Mr. Kabir Bedi, Stories I Must Tell. Very interesting, very, very interesting, eclectic blend of, you know, wherever or, or, or what places he's lived and uh, stuff like that. What is irony? Drawing trees on paper. There's a few of these sketches. These were drawn by a very dear friend, Akshay Dogra. He's also an actor. These are actually the pictures that we got done exactly one day before my son was born. Actually, that's my uh, uh, wife's tummy. That's my son in there. And that's, that's actually uh, done by Rakesh Bapat. This is a birthday gift to me. So he's a painter. Uh, he is actually a painter. He's, uh, you know, his paintings go for a price and stuff like that. I don't. I think it was up in his house, in fact. And I said I really like this painting. He remembered that, and that's a, a bit after that he gifted it to me. Yeah, we spend not a lot of time in here, the balcony. But at the same time, we love uh, dressing it up. We, you no, know, my wife, <laughs> not me, dressing it up with the plants. The this lovely wind. Uh, there's a, only one plant I know in the balcony. That's aloe vera. Yeah, I've read a few sits, uh, uh, things on my dining table, but it gets a little noisy. I have to get rid of everyone. I just have to tell you, please, everyone's going to be quiet after read this. Like, there's some people who just don't listen to what I'm saying. 
So, but I can't help that. And that's that's our kitchen. Uh, we have a nice looking open kitchen. Uh, this fridge is still taken over by the kids now uh, because there's only AVCD on it. And uh, do you know there was a time Mama and Papa used to collect magnets from every country we went to. And yeah, and that's 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 my uh, daughter's room. That's a sliding bed that she wanted. That apparently is a dollhouse. And I've uh, made all of this myself. This dollhouse, this whole thing I've made myself. Uh, that thing I made myself, this I made myself, this I made myself, this I made myself. This, this is a very hectic time in my life. And uh, I kind, I tend to embrace it instead of just being upset. Yeah, we watched a lot of documentaries uh, sitting down over here. There's a documentary called The Jinx on uh, HBO. That's about one of the uh, richest New York real estate developer's second son who instead of embracing his fortune became a murderer serial killer for that matter he killed three people so that's a remarkable documentary there's a documentary called the staircase about a case of a man murdering or not murdering his wife pushing her down the staircase basically there's a lot actually yeah. there's, there's there's one called don't fuck with the cats you should watch that that's it's very very stupid it's hilarious how real life pans out for some people there's one called evil genius that's also on netflix and if you want you can watch the world war ii from the front lines so so when the world war was happening obviously everyone was trying to all the countries were trying to show off their weaponry and artillery and none of that uh footage was released because they were shooting from their equipment if they were gonna kill someone, you know, if they were gonna bombard a city or something of that sort, they were shooting from their planes. So that is on uh, uh, World War II. I love your nonchalance. <laughs> she's really old. She's uh, she's probably at uh, twelve years old. She's like eighty-four. She was with one of our friends who had uh, gotten too many pets. And uh, that's why uh, uh, he was like, if you're okay keeping her. Her name is Shitki and uh, it means, what I was told was that it means small in Bengali. Because she, when we had, took her, it, she was a year old already. She, we didn't want to change her name because obviously she was used to it by that time. But uh, her name is not a reflection on her intellect is what I said. She's always been there, yeah. So she's been there for a very long time now. We brought both of our kids home. She was there barking, licking him up. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much what we do, where we live. But yeah, thank you for coming.